Hi there, welcome to Number One Geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with more Project Zomboid. Debbie Duss has found the large uh, area that is at the uh, south west of Muldrow, which can, as long as we can get rid of all the zombies around here, make a pretty damn good staging point for working the way towards Muldrow and clearing Muldrow out. But... That means a bit of work. So the big question is, are we able, excuse my yawning, are we able to get ourselves in to clearing all these zombies out? Uh, first of all, let's start with sneaky, 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 pop! Let's take my lead pipe to the face. You naughty, naughty zombie. It sounds like there might be quite a, a few zombies inside the building. There's one that's quite a few zombies around the building as well. Hopefully one of these two is going to get sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. No. So I'm sending to Lorian. Well, looks like one of them's already broken open a window, so if the doors don't open, it would be rude of me not to take the exposed window that they've offered. As tribute. <laughs> you made a time machine out of a DeLorean? What does that say out of time? Yeah, of course it does. Check these doors first. if this body here may have the key. Oh. I have the key, don't have any fuel, but that could change very soon. I could tow the car. That may actually be an option. Let's check these are the vehicles. Where am I hearing zombies? 
That'll be one, well, it. I suspect he was it. Yeah. I think I better be sensible. Okay, change room. Nice. Now, uh, there's a gentleman called Authentic Peach. He's making a, a nice zombie mod at the moment, um, which is going to be uh, updating the different zombie models so that they have different But adding a little bit more to the zombie mods, effectively. I think I've seen a Freddy Krueger, uh, clown zombies, different things like that. Looks quite good. If I can remember the name of the mod, I'll tell you next time. Ah. So excuse my yawning, it is pretty late at night for me. I usually do my general thing once my daughter's asleep, but my daughter didn't go to sleep for a very long time. So I've kind of found myself stuck waiting until quite late before I can actually start doing my, uh, my recording. As many know, I uh, record for the week. Today, for me, is Sunday, but for you, it's going to be Friday. I think I need to change my uh, my pants here. Right. I think what I'm going to do, first of all, let's just open this door. Let me just dig it. Unless I've got this area there to rest in. I want to deal with these guys first. Well, this one at least. I'm going to have a bit of sneaky, sneaky pop by the looks of it. So, sneaky, 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 sneaky pop. And comes the next one. Actually, quite surprised that he didn't. Uh... He didn't hear me in the first place. Okay, might be a good idea. I head over to the car. I can't remember what it was I wanted to head over to the car for, though. It was something. Something I suspect it was in the back of the... Uh, back of the vehicle. Oh, hello. Oh, 
What was I looking for? Oh, that's right. I was looking to see if I'd popped. Oh, maybe it's in the duffel bag. No, not in the duffel bag. Okay. I'll have to wait till we get back home again, I think, by the looks of it. Bit of nails, screwdrivers, more nails. Yeah, I do find it quite weird how, I mean, how the Americans tend to use nails for everything. And I appreciate it. nail gun's quite quick and so forth, but nothing keeps something together like a screw. Nothing can be taken apart as quickly as a screw either. Nope, shotgun shells. Strawberry seeds. You know what I didn't. I, I forgot to actually check out the uh, seeds that I planted. If I'm honest, this is going to end up being a uh, a slow kill survival thing. There's a trailer over there as well. Might be a sneaky, sneaky pop coming here. Sneaky, 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 sneaky pop. Draw these bad boys away. That's a manly moustache for a zombie. Come on, sweetheart. You have a date with my rather large lead pipe. In the library with Colonel Mustard. Ah, oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Pop! Check this out. Bring the car around. Hopefully I've killed enough of the zombies in the local area. If 
for not many of them to be that bothered about my uh, my engine. Go around the back as well while I'm at it. Well, bugger. I'm tired and hungry doesn't help. Let's see if we can sort out the hunger part. So if I'm quiet, guys, obviously concentrating. Noise. So that's four zombies around here. And they're going to end up potentially causing me problems. Maybe six if those two pick up. I will take these two out, only out of the, uh, the point of it's better to take them bloody out now and not to worry about them in uh, if I make any more noise. Sneaky, 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 pop. for a DeLorean but I mean come on look at it man it's 80s Irish beauty Do I need to grab a rope for this? Let me move a little bit further forward. I do need a rope, don't I? Mm. 
The rubber band is going to help. Ooh. There's a friend to be made. See how the back of this one does electric wire. Nope. Let's have a look at all the stuff we got in here. Find anything in there, I might. Maybe I'll find something in the large group of boxes over here. Why is it every time I need something, I end up having to go on a massive long search for it? I mean, come on, guys. It's just a bloody rope. It's not a rope. That's what I want. It's just a rope. Give me a rope. God damn it. Right, 1730. I don't know if that's going to end up biting me on the arse if I go to sleep just yet. Let's just check this area again because I may have overlooked a rope. I mean, I know there's a rope in the town. Actually, duct tape. I'll keep the duct tape. <laughs> keep the old machete going. Well, depending on how long I've got left on it, should I say. See, I was pretty damn sure that you needed a rope to do uh, towing. And I'm pretty sure I've seen other people do it without a rope. So, not 100% sure what's going on there. Let me give it a look. Oh, let me just drop those two in as well while I'm at it. You never know. No, I've got some rope in there. 
Money for old rope and all that shit. Oh, hello, friends. Now, I'm only tired, so that means that my distance of seeing is down. Well, this looks horribly like I can't do thing it. Another oh, right now I'm in trouble. Right, let's try another, let's try it again. Right. I think it's quite clear that I can't. Oh. Somehow, I'm able to make a friend. Siphon gasoline, and I keep pressing escape. It's a space engineer thing. I do apologize. Press escape to try get rid of a menu, which obviously is Project Zomboid ain't the thing to do. Sleep on the sofa. I'm hoping that we'll get to about, yep, well, well, we're daytime now, at least. I think our best option right now is probably to leave it there. Knowing that we've got the DeLorean, I may have to go back to town to go get a rope to uh, tow the machine back. Which is a bit of a bummer. But at this point, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop somebody down in the comment section to let me know how I can make content for you. Effectively, look, if you don't like what I'm doing, just tell me what it is. I can take it. And we can see what we can do about it. And there's been a lot of improvements, hopefully made, from criticism. Constructive criticism has been uh, laying down by uh, people who are very, very kind to say why I don't do good stuff. But, you know, I just want to improve. Anywho, if you really like it, why not press that subscribe button? And if you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube? All that remains for me to say is, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.